Now with 30 mixtapes, six EPs, two collaboration albums, and numerous accolades under his belt, including Lyricist of the Year at the 2017 South African Hip Hop Awards, Youngster CPT has been described as the voice of the people. He describes his music as a verbal tour guide to life in the notorious Cape Town Flats. And today he's releasing his debut album titled 3T, Things Take Time. But before he tells us all about it, let's have a look at a compilation of some of his best music videos. That's why the O and salute us. Some people say that we must some people say that we act and now salute us. 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 That's why the O and salute us. Some people say that we do that. Some people say that we do that. And now they salute us. 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 I'm coming from the West Coast. West Coast. Where we got the best side. Good dope. We be saying da 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 da. It's the one and only CPT. Yeah. Now where I come from is not the puzzle or the Four fingers up, two twisted in the middle. If I was Bruce Wayne, that would be my bat symbol. And where I'm from, DJs don't smile, no dimples. It's the Y, it's the Y, it's the Y, it's the Y, it's the Y. I'm not still a brow, like to talk a lot. Yes. I play my music loud, the neighbors call the cops. Yes. My brass are still lumming by the corner shop. Yes. I shoot a video, I gave them all a shot. Yes. Plus, I gave them shout outs on the album. Uh. They tell me by your donkey, I tell them that you welcome. Yes. I told my brass, I can you Yes. Wine book to London in the quantum. Yes. Hey. Hey, welcome to yes, The Loft. Yes, yes. So thank you for having me at The Loft. It's beautiful. <laughs> Youngster CPT, a.k.a. Riyadh. Mm, yeah. Riyadh. So I heard something Ooh. interesting. You were, you said you were going to be late a little bit. You might be late a little for the interview because mm. you had to go to mosque. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Friday is a holy day for me. And uh, Juma is a very, very important time in my life. So business only takes place after 2 p.m. Wow. wow. What kind of discipline does that like lend to your life and how do you benefit from that? I think that growing up with the fundamentals that I had as a child and also wanting to, you know, make my parents proud, make my mother proud especially, like just to do right by her, I knew that she wanted me to be a good Muslim boy. So <laughs> I managed to actually grow with it and keep that in my life as an adult as well. And I mean, just the discipline, the, the respect that I have as well for my elders and for, you know, people of all faiths and all walk of life, like that's something that one learns and practices through praying as well and keeping a strong faith and a strong belief system, that's especially important. in the industry that we're in, you know, because Absolutely. it's crazy, you can lose yourself at any moment. Yeah. And that's what I want to get into. Why mm. is it so important for you to stay grounded, mm. to remain true to your roots and your core, especially being in such a crazy industry like the music industry yeah. and entertainment, I guess, in general? Yeah, like, I feel like I was a human being before all this happened. Yeah. So why, when success comes or fame comes or money comes, whatever it is, like why should I lose that? And why should I lose my integrity and my goals? And you know, the things that I learned growing up, like those are the things that we're supposed to hold on to. They're supposed to carry us into mm -hmm. adulthood. And the funny thing is when people get older and they maybe move out of their households, they adopt an entirely new personality, a new <laughs> persona. It's like a totally they different to person. They forget everything they've learned in life. And I just want to hold on to those things because those things actually made me successful. Those yeah. things made me who I am yeah. now, you know, and that's why I'm sitting on this couch at the loft with you beautiful <laughs> ladies. Well, one of the things that I really respect about you is that you've grown into a, yeah. an influential voice in this generation by, by dancing to your own tune. Indeed. By that, I mean you haven't been... Um, influence to move out of Cape Town, out no. of your neighborhood, to go and make it in a place where everybody says that's where you go to make it. Mm -hmm. like you actually, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You established yourself yeah. right here, and your voice is booming to wherever you wanted to go. What kind of resilience did that take? I mean, I'm sure there were naysayers mm. going, "Nah, you have to, you Are have you to sure? move." Still, right now, still right 2019. Now. Don't listen to them. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I understand <laughs> that people want me to take the road that's often traveled, but don't be afraid to also let me take the road less traveled yeah. because you guys don't know what's down here because you mm. didn't travel down you know? exactly so, yeah I mean by me being this influential in Cape Town and and, and like touching the lives of the youth so much mm -hmm. it shows that I made it like a good decision by staying here by making this my own base mm -hmm. it actually wasn't a mistake yes it might take longer 
for people to know me and recognize me or whatever the case may be, but you have to also understand yourself as a person and an artist, what are you actually trying to promote? What is your intent? What is yes. your goal? If my, if my goal is money and fame and chains and mansions, then I should probably leave Cape Town. But if my intent is to invoke social change and make people you know, a mm. bit more aware of what's going on and the issues that plague the communities here in Cape Town, then I should I love stay that. here and represent them. Yeah, you I have to be hands on. I no, love yeah. it. I always say, always remember your why. Why are you doing something? Why did you wake up in the morning? Yeah. Why are you pursuing what you're pursuing? Oh, yeah. And another thing that I also always say, don't be afraid to pave your own path. In yeah. all honesty, everyone seems to do ABC because ABC works. But let's try D, E, yeah. F. Let's try all the other alphabets. Yeah. Let's see try where all the, the other. Goes. Let's see where it goes, mm. and who knows how you can shoot to fame. And that's exactly what you've done. You've toured the world. You've become an international sensation. But you didn't always start there. I mean, I see that you had your eyes on this rapping dream from the age of six. And I feel like it all started with the man on the cover of that album. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Tell us about him. I mean, I just want to give a, a, a round of applause to all our parents and grandparents. Yay! <laughs> Mommy, Daddy! They <laughs> are the ones that nurtured us, cared Absolutely. for us, raised us. Yeah. And what better way for me as an artist to pay homage and pay tribute and respect to my elders. You look like him. Yeah, the people yeah. say I got the droopy eyes also. You know. <laughs> like, yeah, like people say that, that, you know, you need to honor thy mother. That's a phrase, you know, yes. and, and honor thy father. And I mean, I didn't have a very close relationship with my father. He passed away as well, and my grandmother passed away in 2016. Mm. So for me, I realized that I missed opportunities with him. I should have spoken more to them. I should have found out about their life stories more, which I didn't get a chance to do. And, you know, when I look at my grandfather now, he's getting older as well, you know, and he talks like it's basically over for him already. And I think mm. that I wanted to find some way to, like, immortalize him and just keep his memory Amazing. alive forever. Like I wanted to see like, how could I make sure that his story gets heard? Yeah. Because I didn't get a chance to do it with you know, other relatives of mine. And I mean, the, the wisdom that we get from our grandparents and our parents is something that it sticks with us. We live our life by a lot of what they say. Yeah. If they tell you, uh, you know, come in the house before the sun goes down. It's kind of a thing that always goes, oh, the sun's going down. Should I be yeah. in already? Don't they talk They say to as angels. you get older, your internal voice takes on the voice of your parents. There I we go. I believe that, yeah. 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 And now that the kids are listening to me and not so much to their parents or their teachers, mm -hmm. what if I told them that I listen to my parents and I listen to my teachers and you guys should do the same, but if you don't want to, listen to the album, listen to the songs, <laughs> the and listen to my grandfather, because yeah. I yeah. listen to him. Yeah. So do the same. You know? yeah. And you believe in taking your time with things. I mean, mm -hmm. you've been in the industry for so long, yeah. but this is, and you've also released so time. much things music, <laughs> but things take time. Correct. And you took two years to interview your grandfather, to mm. speak to your grandfather, gather his stories. Yeah. And it also took you an incredible amount of time to release your debut album. What mm. can people expect from the sound? Yeah, the sound is very historic. Yeah. It's very intelligent as well. And it's packed with a lot of information, mm. I would say. It's not necessarily going to be maybe the popular choice on the shelves. But I do believe that if you are looking for something more than just, you know, music of today, because sometimes I feel like the kids are getting a little bit silly these days. They're yeah. getting a bit stupid, you know what I mean? Like the They're music, mumbling. Yeah, silly season. The music isn't giving them <laughs> like any food for thought. There's yeah. nothing that they're yeah. learning from music. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like I learned from music back in the day. Even if there was like, you know, vulgar words here and there, there was always something I could take like, yeah, no, this can help me, this can benefit me. Yeah. So Speaking I would say of this words, that. you're going to teach us a few slang words. No doubt. I'm so keen to yeah. get into Ready. this. Your, your sound Ready. is called Gapstad and Ready. that means Cape Town. Yeah? All right. So teach us some. Unique New York, the tip of the tongue. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. You're such warm a up exercises, <laughs> warm up exercises. Okay, no, seriously. So, first, uh. when they say we're going to go boss. Okay. Okay. We're going to go boss. We're going to go boss. Say it. We're going to go, go, go boss. You're going to turn up. You're gonna oh, turn up. okay. When you're gonna go boss, it gonna means go you're gonna back, turn right? up. So we're yeah. gonna we go, go boss. boss. Yeah, we go okay. boss. Okay. We're looking to we get boss with you a little later on in the yeah, afternoon when you're performing. And Another then one? when and we then. say salute, okay, that just means like a confirmation. Salute. When I salute you, it's the same salute. thing like in the army when they mm. salute. But mm. now, you know, you get these little variations of the slang that change. So yeah. now we say salutas. 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 So that's the same thing, the confirmation, but it's just another version of it, a remix of it. You I know? like that. So, salutas. Salutas. Am I going to see you tonight? Yeah, salutas. Salutas. And she, and she got it. Brilliant. Hey. First try. Salutas, you're going to see us tonight oh, going yeah. boss. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> in a <laughs> sentence, a full sentence. I'll After the break, we prepare a flavorful Thai inspired curry with Chef Anshindel. Remember to connect with us online, please, and tell us which artist you think Youngster CPT should collaborate with. Uh, tweet us at afternoon, afternoon Chat using our regular hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. We'll be right back.